James Marsden is really handsome. Very handsome. Between you and James Marsden. Who's more attractive? Yeah. Yeah, James Marsden, I think, right? You can see me, right? Ladies and gentlemen, I'm not introing this, but I'm about to intro the intro. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you Patrick with what many people are saying is quite possibly the best intro to any Polygon video ever made. On your marks, get set. It's Patrick time, baby. Hit it. Hi, welcome to Polygon.com, the website. Uh, we. See? Wow. <laughs> Don't cut. I think we got it. Don't yeah. cut. Hello. We have Ben Schwartz here, who is Sonic the Hedgehog, and he's a very busy man, and we have a lot of questions. So uh, we're going to try to get through this as quickly as possible. Ben, question one, how you doing? Oh, I'm doing very well. I'm timed in all these, correct? Yes. I'm doing well. Thank you very much, Patrick. How are you? I'm doing very, very well. Cool. Uh, okay, and there's a boy yo yoing after every correct answer? Or no, there's not. We don't know what it means yet. We don't know what it means okay, yet. Okay, I can't wait okay. to figure it out. How did you become involved in this project? Uh, in 10 seconds? Oh man, I did the test uh, many years ago just to do the five minute test to try to sell to the studios. And after I did it, they liked my voice so much that they kept me around for the real thing. Great. Uh, <laughs> get this closer. What's the most challenging part about voicing Sonic the Hedgehog? Uh, challenging, I think one of the things I was most excited about and also I really want to make the fans proud because Sonic has a very passionate fan base. There have been a lot of actors who played Sonic in the past in video games and in cartoons. So I really want to make them proud. So that was the thing and I feel very fortunate next You've gone over here. Yeah. yeah, of course. Um, how did you get into character? I got into character by, uh, sometimes I drank a little green tea and get caffeinated, but I always figured that Sonic was like this little kid that had all this energy that he always wanted to get out there in the real world, and he finally had the opportunity to do it. Okay. Uh, how do you get out of character? Great question. Uh, I usually, when I'm done, no joke, because we do so much yelling and voiceover stuff, I'll have like an emergency or something, because I find that I'll get sick sometimes, because my throat gets so raw from going up here for six hours in a row. In your own words, uh, what is a hedgehog? You want me to make up new words or my words? In your own words, okay. what is a hedgehog? Shmupanats, rooks, pradush, fush, nusts, rapats. Cool. Have you ever seen a hedgehog in real life? Yes, I've held on to many a hedgehog now because of this movie. Really? Yeah, you hold them on to like this because their tops are very spiky. What, just what do you think of this? I think this is a real hedgehog. Yeah. It's beautiful. In 10 seconds, I think it's gorgeous. Thanks for having me. Great. <laughs> What is your favorite noise from the Sonic games? Ooh, great question. Coin, uh, I'm sorry, getting rings to me is very exciting. Also, the Sega when you start it is very, very exciting. But also noise, I mean, the, the music for some of the boards are unbelievable. But uh, there's also, uh, of course, sorry. Do you remember any other noises from the Sonic games? Yeah, of course, thank you. And so it goes like dun 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 and you have to get the air bubble before it gets up. It used to make me so anxious. Uh, it's crazy. Do you remember the noise it makes when you make past a checkpoint? Oh, uh, the balloon? Yeah. The balloon thing? Yeah. Uh, does it go ba -dum? Sonic the Hedgehog is both a buddy film and a road trip film. Have you ever been on a road trip with your buddies? Patrick, I have. Thank you very much for asking. And this story is going to take at least five minutes. So it started in 1942, and in my head I was like, well, how am I alive? Um, no, we, I, I've done, done a bunch of road trips. It gives me another 10 seconds. I've done a bunch of road trips, and one of them was I took it from New York to Montreal for the Montreal Comedy Festival. And uh, when we did it, we got stopped by Border Patrol. It was a fun story that would, be, would make a great time. Did you have a visa? Was that that sort of situation where they're like, do you have... Do you have this is great that you're asking this. In the car was me, Gil Ozeri, Adam Pally, I believe Bobby Moynihan, Charlie Sanders. It was the first time they introduced Sketch ever. And uh, Gil did not have his passport, so he brought his a birth certificate or social security card. And then we found out that in the back, we had a sketch that had fake drugs in it. And so we had to go, when we got to the Border Patrol thing, uh, 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 Gil goes, oh, I'm sorry, I don't have my passport, I just have my birth certificate, and go, and we have fake drugs in the back. And he goes, everybody out! And then everybody had to get out of the car. And we got interviewed one by one. Uh, one time I got stopped. At no, 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 I don't give a fuck. Have you been on a road trip before? I've, I've moved a lot, yeah. You name three cities or states that you live in. Uh, Texas. How does it feel to portray a character who is so fervently adored by a massive fan base? It, I feel very lucky. And I feel like our version of Sonic in the film has turned out to be a beautiful little blue blur, if you will. So I'm very proud of it. But it is uh, exciting to jump in a franchise that has so many people that adore it, and you just cross your fingers that we're doing it justice and hoping the legacy continues. Okay, next question. Yeah. Have you ever drawn Sonic fan art? Have I ever drawn Sonic fan yeah. art? I haven't. I have seen some. Yeah, would you like to? Sure. Go. Oh my god! 
That's so unfair. Was that drawn already? No. Oh, you're talented. Yeah. Sonic versus Sonic. Oh this should be the sequel. If we ever get a sequel, this should be the sequel. Bring me onto the art team. Sonic versus Sonic. This is incredible. Thank you. May I ask you to draw other things? Okay, so uh, let's try Mega Man, okay? It's another blue character. Ready, and whenever you're ready. Go. Thank you very much for your time and your, and your help. Five. F okay, all right, never mind. Sorry. So you can just draw Sonic? If you had Sonic's powers, how would you change the world for the better? I would race around. I'd find a way to help. I would try to, I would try to help poverty. And uh, and homelessness, and um, I tried to get up, but I got I found out I was tied to my seat. <laughs> <laughs> if you had Sonic's powers, what crimes would you do? Okay, I'd probably steal. Where do you live? Uh, Brooklyn. I would I would steal from your your place. I would one hundred percent steal from your place, but replace it with like like if you had pants that were like let's say what are you look like you're a twenty one waist. So let's say you had like a 21 waist, I'd replace them with like a 19 waist or something like that. Or if you would choose, I'd put like a little bit of cheese in, but enough to make you feel like, oh my God, did my feet make that? It's not real cheese, you know what I mean? Right. I'd try to screw with you enough that when you woke up, you'd be uncomfortable with setting out towards the day. You would just use Sonic's powers to gaslight me. Just you. Do you know any other cool terms like gaslight that I can use in conversation? Uh, uh, yes. Can you give me one? Just n naturally, pretend like we're just talking. What's up, Patrick? How are you? Uh, good. Uh, I'm really getting railroaded here. Ugh. How do you take care of your voice? I've voiced a lot of characters that have very high voices, like Randy Cunningham, Ninth Grade Ninja, was a very high voice. Uh, Dewey Duck, very high voice, and Sonic's very high voice. I take theirs. I found this thing on Amazon, and it's like a liquid type thing that coats your throat. So when you're when you do your vocal, when you do a high voice, your vocal cords get closer, and they're hitting each other, and it gives it a little bit of a lining. And then I drink a lot of hot tea when I'm doing it. But it was a problem because I don't know how to use my diaphragm. I wasn't trained. So I have ruined my throat. I used to be a way better singer, and now I can't sing as much anymore. Sorry. What is Sonic running from? In the movie, there is actually something he's running from. Yeah. You. Specifically me? Yes. Not the viewer, me? You. In some Sonic literature, Dr. Evo Robotnik begins as a father figure to Sonic the Hedgehog. You're talking about Eggman? Dr. Eggman. Uh, do you view Jim Carrey as a father figure? I actually grew up with his movies. I adore him. He was an idol of mine. Dumb and Dumber, I think, is still top five movies of all time for me. So meeting him for the first time, I found that uh, in this business, you'll have watched somebody so long that when you see them, you're like, you just know their face so well, and it takes a second for them to be that thing and then become a person. Uh, so when I saw him, I'm like, oh my goodness, this is all my favorite movies. And then we got to talk like human beings, and it was great. In one of the most charming interviews I've ever seen, you explain Sonic the Hedgehog to Larry King. <laughs> oh, yeah, sure. Hedgehogs are interesting, though, aren't they? I can't wait to see where this goes. What other things would you like to explain to Larry King? I just did Larry King again. Yeah. Because I I love him. He gave me a pair of his suspenders once, and uh, it, nothing brought me more joy than when he has to say these pop culture references, which he's reading off of a thing. I've never told this story before. It's going to be more than 10 seconds. Is that all right? Can you tell me more about this? Sure, of course. He's getting older and I really care about him because I've been watching him my whole life and so I saw that he was getting older and we were talking about health stuff it was before the cameras were rolling and we're talking about health stuff and we're getting into it and we're talking about how he feels and he was lovely about it but you know you could tell that he's uh, medically is you know figuring stuff out um, uh, and I go man I, I hope you feel better and da, 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 and he said something and then he goes three two one you played a banana a duck and a hedgehog why are you playing all these things <laughs> like what is going on what do you think longtime fans are gonna think of this movie I really hope they enjoy it. We put a lot of Easter eggs in it to reward people who played. And we have like even a Smash Brothers reference with like uh, an, uh, an animation of Sonic. We have when Sonic, I don't know if you remember if he's like on the edge of something, he's kind of like going like this. We've hit that in the movie. On his bandana, you have the original logo. We have all these things that if you're a Sonic fan, you're going to be rewarded. But we, yeah. What do you think Larry King will think of the movie? I hope he sees it. Ugh. I think if he sees it, he would like it because I get to be very funny in it. And Jim Carrey's unbelievably funny. I think he'd really enjoy it. All right, you come out of the movie theater. Larry King comes out of the movie theater. He's just seen it. What are his first words to you? Hey, Ben. Af after that. You know where the bathroom is? This is an hour and a half long movie. I'm 100 years old. <laughs> do you know what they used as an on-set stand-in for Sonic? Yes, they did. I do know. We had three different versions of the doll. One that you would, uh, I guess you would call it a doll. One that you would hold. But then for James, also, they had like a tennis ball. The whole thing that James and Jeff Fowler, the director, who's been amazing, was that eye lines. They wanted it, they didn't want it to look like uh, James was just looking at a person. They wanted to know exactly where Sonic's eyes would be and stuff like that, which I thought was so great. Um, so uh, there was like three different versions of Sonic. Next. 
Just let me know what you think about this. This is one of the stand-ins. This is Sonic, this is one of the Sonic stand-ins. Do, do you know where that is right now? Oh my God, are you about to bring it out? Holy shit, are you for real? Are you for real? Can you uh... You've been talking to it all along. Yeah. Oh my God, yeah. this is the Sonic, Tara, this is the Sonic, this is the Sonic yeah. stand-in? What was your first video game? Um, of all time, well, first of all, I played like Dig Dug and stuff on my Tandy and stuff. If you want, but if you want to say consoles, uh, also Mavis Beacon teaches time, <laughs> typing. Do you remember that? Yeah. You're younger than me, I think. How old are you? Twelve. Uh, Thirty-one. You're 31? thirty-one. No, I'm thirty-two. Wow, good job. Yeah, Jeez, you. Was it just your birthday right now? No. Yeah, just just right then. Yeah. yeah. Uh, but uh, when I got the original Nintendo, it comes. It came with Duck Hunt. I got the one where it was Duck Hunt, and it had uh, Mario as well. And you got the Zapper. Mm -hmm. So that was a big one for me. But then we quickly went on to Mike Tyson's Punch Out. We quickly went on to Zelda. Next. When like if somebody comes up to you and they're like, "Are you a?" What you just right? I'm trying to make hand. you look good. Yeah. That's really cool. Um, oh. Are you a gamer? Can Is I have it? Game? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Can I have it back? Sure. Can I have it? All right. Um, what, what was your game of the decade? This decade? Yeah. The decade? I might say Inside. I like Tomb Raider when I played Tomb Yep. The Hedgehog's Dilemma suggests that in seeking closeness and warmth, we risk hurting others. Oh, this uh, is and great. ourselves. How do you experience love without pain? I think I think it's possible, but I think also the idea of any low, the inverse of something will only help you experience the other thing more. But surely you know that you're cold without ever being warm. If you went outside in the winter in New York City, you'd be freezing, right? Right, sorry. What's the case for and against pineapple on pizza? I would say against, it's a lot of sweetness when you put them out. If it's on tomato sauce and cheese, I feel like it's a lot of sweetness and a kind of tart. Uh, and for, I don't know, you want to be crazy? Shadow the Hedgehog. Shadow the Hedgehog, yes. Is the dark reflection. It's a villainous hedgehog. He's everything will. Sonic isn't. Who is your shadow? Can I be honest? Yeah. And I can't believe I'm going to say this on camera because I'm embarrassed. I think it's you. I think you're my, I think you're my villain. I'm, I'm you, but worse? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Not worse. Just with villainous intentions. Yeah. I don't think Shadow's worse. Sure. Shadow's just, a, just the inverse, the, vi the villainous side of it. Yeah. And eventually I think they team up. So, I mean, maybe that's... Well, no spoilers, you know what good. I mean? As a performer and an artist, how do you make sure that you're using every bit of time you have left on this earth to its very fullest? Well, as a performer and artist, I think one of the things that I really enjoy is to make people laugh and to try to create things that I'm proud of. Uh, when Sonic farts, was that you farting? Yeah, that's me. We put a series of microphones around, like almost like uh, bullet time. Remember in the Matrix when he goes like this and the bullets go through? So we have a series of cameras, and when I fart, I try to fart and do this. So you kind of feel the sound and the emotion of me being flatulent. Wonderful. What color do you think Sonic's arms should be? Right now, we have blue in the movie, and one might say in the video games, they're white. One might say that. The real question, Patrick, and I'm going to ask you this, what color are Sonic's hands? Uh, that's a great question. I think they're blue under those gloves, at least in the film. I know what color they are. Really? Yeah. Uh, can you tell us? Yes, I can. Which camera do you want me to tell you? Uh, this is enormous. Yeah. You gotta check out our next interview on Polygon.com when we do the sequel. If we do the sequel. Please, let's do a sequel. If we do a sequel, should we do this one more time? Yeah. This is what has to happen for us to have this interview. Yeah. <laughs> Sonic has to have a huge opening weekend. All the fans have to see this movie. These are all the things for you and I to meet each other again. Yeah. Thank you, Benjamin. I can't wait, Patrick. Tara, thank you for having me. Thank you all of the camera human beings. I appreciate it. What a special time we've had. Uh, and let's sign off the way you always sign off. Pop it into your camera. I love your, I love your goodbye phrase. And that is everything that we <laughs> could, could do today. His Christopher Walken sign off. Thanks so much for having me, guys. Okay, I'm gonna put it on your finger. Have you ever done this before? No. It never works. Okay, ready? I'm yeah. gonna transfer it. Let's get it fast. Here we go. Great, and do we have that in slow-mo? Do we have it? Okay, great. Well, let's pop that in slow-mo because I want everybody to see how scared Patrick was when it touched his finger. <laughs> when a basketball touched his finger, 